Hey guys, Mark here from Oregon Greybeard. Today I'm going to show you how to transform the cigar box into an EDC storage container with Velcro and suede. Okay, so this is a pretty simple, fun project that doesn't require a lot of tools or materials to complete. Obviously, to start with, you'll need a cigar box or something similar. You'll need some Velcro uh, loop or fuzz. You'll need some kind of suede or material to go on the bottom. Some contact cement, some brushes, a sharp knife, and some kind of uh, square or uh, straight edge for cutting the material. All right, so we'll start by measuring the internal dimensions of the box. So it looks like the top is about six and three eighths, just just a tad over. So we'll do six and three eighths by seven and nine sixteenths. All right, now that we have our measurements, we can get our suede out here. We're just going to come down about eight inches and cut a nice clean edge on one side that we can work off of and we can just rough cut this and put this away so once you have your piece centered uh, you can mark out where your cuts need to be so we need to be at six and three eighths uh, this way and seven and nine sixteenths this way we're just going to kind of eyeball that so that is a good fit so we're going to do seven and nine sixteenths. All right, that looks good. Fits perfect. So now what we need to do is just trim this edge off. And that'll be the edge that goes in the, the middle. And we can just leave uh, that little part on the outside edge. That's not, that's not going to matter. You won't see that at all. So now we need to cut our second piece. Perfect. All right, so easy way to do this is to put this piece in upside down, put this piece over it, okay? Make sure that they're, they're separated good and just get a pencil and mark each side. Just make sure you got a good line there. All right, let's see how that looks. All right, we've got a really nice uh, seam there. No, uh, you know, no wood showing anywhere. It's nice and tight in the corners. So that part's good to go. All right, so next we need to spread the glue. So the first thing we need to do is throw some contact cement on our piece. We're just kind of spreading it around all over the place. And that's it. Didn't use very much at all. So you're going to want to take this and set it aside. Depending on the temperature, I would say at least 15 minutes. Now we're going to do the bottom of our cigar box here. And that's it. Now you could glue everything up all at once, uh, but for this project I'm just going to do one side at a time. Alright, so you'll know the contact cement is dry. Uh, when it's not sticky anymore. So there's a couple little spots where it's still tacky, but that's not going to make a, that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. And it also takes on a kind of shine. Uh, but again, it's not sticky. Now, two very important things with contact cement. Once you push them together with pressure, uh, I can't say it's forever, but it's pretty close. So you want to be really careful when putting this stuff in because uh, you basically only have one chance of doing it. Now contact cement works best when after it's been stuck you, applied, you apply some pressure. I think the can says 15, uh, 25 PSI. So you want to apply 25 pounds of force to it uh, to really get it to stick. Here's a, a wood burnisher for leather, something like that would be good. We're going to take these little pieces from the inside and, and lay them there. Uh, the contact cement won't won't stick to those because they don't have contact cement on them. So we're going to line it up like so. Make sure it's centered. And then we're just going to drop it down in place. 
and then we'll take our our burnishing tool here and we'll just kind of smash that down now we can put these uh, little frame pieces back in and there we go All right, so our Velcro and the lid to our cigar box has had time to dry. So same thing as before, you want to make sure that you get these in exact because you basically only got one shot to do it. So I'm going to start uh, with that straight edge here. You kind of put that in the corner, grab our burnishing tool, smash that down. All right, now we'll take our second piece and we're going to line it up uh, to the to the first piece there that way we're sure that nothing in the background is going to show up all right so we got that uh, completed the next thing i'm going to do is take it outside and hit it with the da sander hit the top of it to get uh, some of that discoloration on there so let's go take care of that part all right, so we got our box outside. Now we're gonna take our DA sander, and this has some uh, 320 grit on it right now. All right, so we're just gonna give it a light sanding uh, on the top. So I'll take a microfiber cloth and just kind of dust it off. So the next thing to do is give it a coat of a fast drying polyurethane. This is the same as the wipe on poly, it's just in an aerosol. Uh, this is a semi-gloss and the way I apply the finish is to spray it down, wait a second and then wipe it off. So you just have the bare minimum of finish on there and you're going to put on kind of a heavy coat. Now it's pretty warm out today, it's about 70 degrees, so this stuff's drying pretty fast. So I'm going to put another coat on the top right away. And then we're going to wipe off one side. And then the other. Now we can wipe the top off. And there we go. Really nice, rich color. Uh, and you can handle it already because uh, the stuff that's soaked in has already started to dry. So we're just going to leave this outside for a little bit and let it dry up. So I hope you like that fun little project. It's pretty, uh, pretty quick and easy to make and I don't need a lot of supplies or materials uh, to put it together. You can pick up cigar boxes at most cigar shops and they'll be you know anywhere from free to a few bucks a piece uh, this one just happened to be about the right size for the stuff I normally have in my pockets all right so if you have any questions leave them in the comment section down below now I'm not an Amazon affiliate but I'll leave some links uh, to where you can pick up some of the materials and supplies on Amazon so thanks for watching we'll catch you next time